Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Ready for a miracle. Is that a hot, is that a hot track or what? Yes. Yeah. So around about 15 minutes, the collection plate is going to go around. Give generously because God is watching. That's what I want you to remember. How are we doing today? Yes, Las Vegas. Are you having a good time? Yes, we're here to make a lot of money. How many of you went out last night? Did you have some fun? How many of you got the drunk? No one went out drinking? No? You did go out drinking? And you showed up on time. Give it up for Tom actually showed up on time. We got a lot to do here today. Did you like the double your money trade? Yes. How many of you talked about it over dinner? Yes, that's right. Okay, well, good. What, you couldn't sleep? Who said that? Who is that? You couldn't sleep? Well, good. I like it when you can't sleep. Nothing wrong with making a lot of money. And that's what we do here at the Wealthy Investor Program, Wealthy Artist Program, is we make a lot of money for ourselves. And the whole idea as self-directed investors is that we go out and we help other people. Is that cool? Yes. Yeah. So when you come here and we talk about making $5,000 a day, $10,000 a day, whatever it is, the goal is not only for me to help you make that money, but you take a small piece of that and you give to your favorite charity, yes? yes. You give to your favorite synagogue, yes? Just give back to your community. Why? Most people don't have the mindset to create wealth. Does that mean that they're bad people? No. But one of the things that we talk about here all the time before we do a trade is your financial beliefs. Now today, we're going to start off with a little bit of program because here's the one thing that I've noticed. None of you were professional traders before you came to this program. But 95% of you make money every single month, whether the market goes up, goes down, or stays the same. That makes me very, very, very happy because that's what this program is all about. But before we get to the actual money-making part, you notice we always have to spend some time on your mental, your emotional, and your spiritual perspective. Because that's what all goes into you clicking, selling those call options, a volatility trade, an option trade is your belief. So yesterday I talked to you about this notion of trading from lack. Let's talk about this pattern again because it's a very powerful pattern. Do I want you to make a lot of money in the stock market? Yeah. Yes, it's out there to be had. It's out there to be had for everyone. But here's the thing. Your mindset is really the key. Your belief systems about what is possible, really the key. That's what open up, opens up the whole door. So you've heard me say, uh, you know, I was raised by a single mother. Can we give a round of applause for single mothers? That's a really hard job. Every time I speak, I always ask for that, right? So I was raised by a single mother, you know this story by now, who um, uh, never made a lot of money. But at the beginning of the month, she would put out the bills on that table and take that bill breath. You know what it is. <sighs> you know, my mother calls me Ty. She's like, Ty, I don't know how we're going to make it. I was like, we? I'm seven. <laughs> you have a job. So uh, she goes, I don't know how we're going to make it, but God is just going to have to make a way. And I thought, um, you know, at the time, like, why don't you just make more money? Right? But uh, when you were raised by a black woman, you thought that, but you never said that. <laughs> what would happen if you actually said that? <laughs> yes. Yes. That is true. And when I was growing up, we called it discipline. discipline. Today we call it what? Nice. Abuse. That's right. <laughs> so I was doing that once in LA. Somebody said, we called it love at my house. So I was like, okay, I, I totally get it. All right. So I never said anything, but I just was like, well, I don't get this whole money thing and why there's really like an issue with money. And my mother said to me, you think when you get out in the world, it's going to be easy to make a lot of money? It's really hard. You're going to see when you get out there, it's really challenging. Her favorite saying was, money goes so fast. So I was thinking, for whatever reason, you know, we're all born with certain perspectives and talents and gifts. And mine was, I never wanted a boss. Like, I always hated, oh, my boss. I was like, oh, I never wanted a boss. Because the people who had a boss never seemed to be happy. And they seemed to get more and more unhappy the, clo the more the sun went down on Sunday, right? Because it was getting closer to Monday and I had to see their boss. So I was like, I don't want a boss if that's what happens. I'd rather let, let me figure out this whole money thing. So 
I realized after doing a lot of inner work on myself that although I rejected my mother's beliefs, I kind of took them to heart. So here I was, most of you know I started out on television for 26 years doing commercials, selling other people's products, working with celebrities and all of that. So we along the line, my father said you should learn how to trade in the stock market because you like buying this real estate, but you're always in court, you know, your tenants. Right, I, 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 you know, my famous the first property I bought in Tribeca, New York, right, because I was going to be rich, real estate millionaire, bought this property in Tribeca, New York, before it was really Tribeca, rented to this very wealthy woman from the Hamptons, because I ordered one of those late night books and tapes in these television shows. They were like, you could have your first property, no money down. I was like, yeah. yeah. So I did it. 90 days later, I had somebody else's money. I borrowed the money for the down payment, got a partner. It was all a leverage deal. We closed. I had this thing. 90 days later, I rented to this woman, Barbara from the Hamptons. She had money. It was working perfectly until three months later when the doorman called me. True story. And he says, uh, Mr. Jackson, you, you got to get down here. I said, why? It's two days after Christmas. He goes, well, um, your, your tenant, Barbara from the Hamptons, tried to throw her daughter out of the window. And uh, so we called the cops. And I was like, okay, but rent is due in like five days. He's like, well, you have to go get the rent check from her because she's at Bellevue right now in New York. So immediately I break out the books and tapes. And I'm like, where is the section on how to go to Bellevue to get your rent check? Because I don't see this in here. We didn't have CDs. It was all tapes. I'm rewinding. <laughs> I don't hear anything. <laughs> so I guess I got to go down to Bellevue. Have you ever been to the psych ward at Bellevue to collect a rent check in New York City? Yeah. I don't recommend the experience is all I'm trying to say. So anyway, I go down there. Her attorney gets the check. And it's so funny, contrasting my life today, I'm the wealthiest one in my family. Can I get a round of applause for that? I know I suckered you into that. It's really not that hard if you knew my family, believe me. So, uh, <laughs> and every time I buy a stock online and sell it, guess what? I don't have to go anywhere. I don't have to go to Bellevue. There's no psych ward, nothing. It's just I buy and sell the stock over and over and over. But before that, here I was on television. I was trying to make all this money. I'm making money from residuals. I'm trying to make it hard because my mother said it's hard. So I'm going out spending the money. I'm doing all kinds of ridiculous things. Not here, but because of in here. Do you get that? And then I realized after some meditation and a couple of other practices that I've indulged in, like, that's her story. Does it have to be my story? No. And that's what a lot of you are discovering in financial terms is that you can rewrite any script that you want and earn any amount of money that you focus on. And that is really, really, really powerful. However, a lot of you have said this to me, you realize you can't do it alone. There's something about being in this group, talking to other people, and I hear a lot of you referring to the real world. A lot of people go, because when you leave millionaire, you gotta go out in the real world and deal with people who don't have the same money beliefs, right? So isn't it amazing that there's enough money for everyone in the world, but yet people don't have a wealth consciousness? So I'm just going to reinforce today that your open mind, those of you who's ever made money on a monthly basis in the stock market, right, that's your open mind rewarding you. Do you get that? The fact that you have this open mind is what is allowing these thousands of dollars to come to you.